So guys, I'm going to show you how stable my uh, sport quad is with this KK2 on there. I put auto uh, auto level on, and uh, I think that the gains are pretty high. So. We go a little higher. Over there. Well, that thing's off there. Okay. See that? It's so smooth. I mean, that's smooth. If I play with the uh, sub trim, well, these are uh, these are Tiger MS twenty two oh eight motors on here now, but uh, I don't have the dome on. But that's. That's 2208 Tiger Motors. Let's try again. Keep it in view here. And straight up. Look over here. Just throttle going up. A little bit of prop wash, but that's that's about it. I mean, that's pretty good. You know, it's it's good because uh, what I like about it, <clears throat> this KK2. Is uh, man, it's smooth on the sticks. If you set your gains right and your stick scaling right, it's so smooth on the sticks. You know, it feels natural. You know, with Simon K ESCs or whatever. Get close up here. So nice and smooth transitions on your uh, radio when you're moving the sticks. And you can just see how nice and smooth that is. No oscillation, no overcorrecting. Battery's starting to go low.
really tight on the axle. Better's dead, so. Well, that KK2 board on my Iconic Export, really stable. I'm pretty sure that KK2 is stable on any kind of frame. But um, I like these, uh, my design of this new frame with the legs. That's it. Later, guys.